Ava Rose is two months old currently and it really, time has gone so fast. <laughs> the one word that I would use to describe Ava Rose is incredible. Like, I, there's no other word for her. <laughs> Graduating high school at 16 and, you know, starting college at, as a freshman, like that was really intense. It was always my goal to be somebody. I don't, you know, I didn't know what that really meant, but I just, I wanted to get a head start. I wanted to be someone before I died. And I felt like if I could get that done early, then that was like all I cared about. It definitely was really stressful, but I set that goal for myself and I achieved it. And it like, it's just really rewarding to know that I'm capable of doing things that I want to do. And like, I can advocate for myself and, and make things happen. When it came to applying for college or applying for jobs, like having that experience of, you know, I had to advocate for myself in high school and as a young college student. And so now as a mother and as a person and as someone who's looking for a job, I have those skills and those tools under my belt. And that's been really helpful. My plans have been put on hold, definitely, since becoming a mom, but I've kind of rearranged my plans and um, I'm really looking into becoming a nurse and I'm picking classes back up this fall. But I am really excited for the future and to see what's in store and to just see how much I can accomplish. I'm really, really excited for that. I 110% think that therapy has helped me be a better mom and a better person all around. Before like becoming a parent, I feel like I let my anxiety kind of eat me alive and just become who I was. And I can't really do that anymore. And so like having to find coping mechanisms and methods that recenter me and, and focus me and make me feel better has made me a lot stronger because I can overcome those panic attacks and those anxiety attacks a lot easier. And I don't let that take over my day or my week. Um, I can just feel what I'm feeling in the moment and kind of move on in a way. For moms struggling with anxiety, the biggest piece of advice I could give is to just take a deep breath when you're feeling overwhelmed and just count like what can you see, what can you hear, what can you feel, and like just re-center yourself. Even if it's in the middle of the highway, pull over, give yourself that time. Therapy is probably the best decision that I have ever made for myself. It's really helped me cope with my anxiety and, you know, depression and all of those things by giving me tools that I otherwise wouldn't have. I think there's a huge stigma around therapy and like, oh, if you need therapy, you're weak or whatever. But in my opinion and my experience, it has made me a much stronger person. I'm more in touch with my emotions. I'm more emotionally available for others. I'm a lot kinder because I'm not battling with myself and I'm able to figure out what's wrong and and get myself the help that I need without feeling bad about it. Adrian and I are doing really good with parenting. It's definitely a lot of me, but he helps out when I need him to, and I really appreciate that. I'm working on losing a little bit of the control aspect. It's really tough, but I'm working on it and just like allowing him to just be a dad. And I just, I really think that we're balancing it really well and that we got this, hopefully. <laughs> Adrian is definitely really focused on making sure that he's able to provide for our family and I just like genuinely appreciate that so much. It means so much to me that he prioritizes that and doesn't let like his 20 year old wants, you know, interfere with providing a good life for our daughter. I was really worried about that in the beginning, like maybe he bit off a lot more than he can chew, but he's really stepping up and sticking to his word and that just means so much to me because I wasn't expecting that and it just, I'm really happy. <laughs> I would say the biggest thing I miss about pre-parented life is not second guessing myself all the time. Like I feel like before I had her, I would just do stuff and like be like, oh, this is fine because it only affected me. But now that she's here, like every single time I make a decision, I'm like, oh, was that the right one? Should I have done something different? Am I going to screw her up? You know, like. It just, it's kind of exhausting to always be like second guessing your own decisions. <laughs> I would say the biggest misconception about, at least personally about me being a teen mom is that I feel like a lot of people just assume that 
I don't take care of her or that I will give her to my mom or give her to Adrian's mom or just like pawn her off on people and that like I don't take parenthood seriously and I really do like for me it's the most important job I feel like I'll ever have and I am her caregiver 98% of the time and when it's not me it's Adrian like I bust my butt to provide a good life for her and I just wish that people gave us a little bit more credit for that. I wish that before becoming a mom someone had told me how like isolated you feel all the time. You could be surrounded by a million people and you just still kind of feel alone because you're really the only person that's in your boat. It is kind of tough to feel like I lost my identity like I don't know who I am as a person like I really like I feel like I'm just her mom and that is really tough um, I feel like I lost a lot of my identity in being Abigail and now I'm Ava Rose's mom and that has been a challenge and I just wish that I would have been a little bit more prepared for that my mom is definitely my rock and looking back I wish that I would have realized that sooner her support through this journey has meant so much to me. I don't know what I would have done without her. And she's just always been there since I told her, like no judgment, no negativity, just, you know, having my back and wanting me to be the best version of myself and pushing me to be the best version of myself. And I just, I really, I don't know where I would be without all of that. My favorite thing about being a mom is how comforted she is just by my presence. Like. She could be screaming, crying, and as soon as she sees my face, like, she just instantly calms down, and it's just, like, such a special bond, and I, like, I would not trade that for the world. It's the most incredible thing. <laughs> my biggest hope for Ava Rose is that she lives a life that she's fulfilled in. Like, I hope that she never feels like she's going without, or that she can't talk to me, or that there's goals that are unattainable. Like, I want her to know that she's an amazing human being and she can achieve whatever she wants. And I hope that um, her life is a reflection of that. I just feel like, you know, I want people to know that even if life throws you a bad hand, like, you can make the best out of it. Um, no matter what people say about you or what negativity is out there, like, if you really want to do something, you can, and you can do it alone if you need to. Um, don't let other people make you feel like you're incompetent if you know that you are competent. Give me the kisses. Yay, puppy! Give mommy good sugars. No, like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay!